Well, this day it was. We're leaving a little later. For some reason. All right. Test, test. There we go. All right. Good morning. Today um, is our Wicked Wednesday class. So we have some singles. You're going to do two one minute exercises. They're either going to be abs or kind of a combo or warm up stuff. And then you're going to have five exercises. So you're going to go right down the line with your weights. So you'll have 40, 35, 30, 25, or 35, 30, 25, 20. The fifth exercise will be your lighter set. That'll be your 15s or 20s. So we're going to go right through at five reps, four reps, three reps, two reps, one rep. You finish, you start back at five. So we'll go all right, then we'll take a right, we'll go all left. The first one, we're going to start with your 15s or 20s. You're just going to hold them. We're going to lunge right foot to the step, right reverse lunge, and then a hammer to a vertical press. So nothing too crazy to start. Kind of a warm up round. Squat pick up. So it's not super heavy, so I don't have you on crazy heavy stuff today. Squat pick up. You're going to hit a right row, palms up. All right, last one here. All right, break. So we're going to hit right squat pick up. So turn that weight vertical. You're going to take your next one. You're going to go five rows, palms up. You're going to move down to your 25 or 30. Right, push press for five. 
right single deadlift for five, and then you're gonna squat waist to the ground with your lighter step for five. So we're gonna go four, then we'll go three, then we'll go two. All right, we start. All right, ready? All right, here we go. I don't know what's on today. All right, here we go. All right, right squat, sit up. Five of those. After that, move down the line, right through, palm is up. So you'll have feet nice and wide on this one. Push press is next. So it's not your heaviest for push press. Right single deadlift. Using that lighter single, then we'll take your set feet wide. Waist to the ground. Okay, we start back over. Five of the squats, and then we drop to four. Toes are front here. Blocks. We'll use these weights for the extra set, so we won't. Oh, I'm already sweating. Now we're down to four. We've got two minutes, 35 seconds to go. Just four reps this time. So when your time ends, we're going to go back to the upper body ones, and we're going to finish them. So I was on three. We're at 15 seconds. Oh, so I'll go back to my rows and my push presses, getting my twos and ones in. If you had one shot and one opportunity. Oh. All right, take a break. So finish up your upper bodies, however many reps you have left. Would you 
And you should have finished on three. So we'll have two rows, two push press, one row, one push press. Right, here we go. Two, two. Just the upper body. Just the upper body. Ooh, are we going to come up there? that whole thing again. Left, but we're going to have the waist instead of the squat wide, feet will be close together. All right, we start in 10 seconds. We're starting with the left squat pick up, the left row. All right, here we go. You don't need to rush. You know, we're going to get the upper body done. We're going to have about the same pace you had last time. on pace when we were last time. Ooh, 
30 seconds, right where we were before. One fly, one tuck. Alright, here we go. One fly. Drop this feet down. Tuck in. Back out. Back up. Fly. You can have to get up and get down a little bit on this one. We're going to hit it. Five. You're going to hit a pull over. With your heavier weight. We're going to angle to the right. You're going to take that lighter one, so that you're 30 or 35. You're going to hit five chest, chest, chest press, so that way. We're going to come back up, so drop it down on your waist. We're going to hit lateral swing, and then we'll hit weight in the left hand, side lunge. So we'll leave the lighter set out this time. Pull over, angle to the right with a heavier one. Right chest press, come up, right lateral swing. Weight your left hand, side lunge five. Here we go, four, three, two, one. So start with that heavier weight. We're just gonna keep dropping down the singles. So this is your 40 or your 35. Five pullovers, angle to the right. Bring it all the way up. Make sure core is nice and tight so you don't roll over. Gotta keep 
we add nice and tight here. When you come up, you're going to work 30, 25, or 25, 20. Lateral swing. And then weight in the left hand, side lunge. Dropping weights on this. Thirty-five seconds. Low as you can get them. So just two, 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 right angle pull over, right chest press, two lateral swings, normal pace.
so you have pullovers, angle from the left. Left chest press. You start in 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Start with five. Watch form.
last pull over, last chest press, as slow as you can get. Really exaggerate this, slow this. When you come up, you're going to bring all your weights back behind your bench. We're going to line it up just like you did the first time. Exaggerate the slowness on the pull over the chest press. Start 
rolling now. Bottom. We're going 
go back to that same five to one, finish it out just as we did. The only thing we're gonna change is the reverse slide. It's gonna be a double row, palms up. Seconds here. Cool break. All right, same thing. Center squat. Row hands down. Vertical push press. Hammer. Double row. Palms up this time. All right, here we go. Your left hand may be a little weaker than the right hand. So you really gotta concentrate on those rows. Getting that weight all the way up to your chest. Bend your knees a little bit more. Right hand on the ground to help.
last round. Four, five, the ones. So you can either face 
if you're taking class in person or video, you can just turn around and keep your weight where they are, or you can move them to the front of your palm. Just halfway. 
big crunch. our five to one on the other side. So we're gonna start with the plie squat. We're gonna hit five of those. If we have our four, you're gonna hit single weight tricep instead of the pullover. Your angle tricep left dropping the weight. Your two, you're gonna have, or your five, if you're next to the last one, you're gonna have hands up, feet up, leg drop, weight drop, where we do the crunch center. And then we'll come up and we'll do the hammer and an angle tricep swing. So we got that? All right, let's take those. All right, five plie day squats. Wait, no left hand. All right, here we go. Try not to use arms at all. Ooh, we're gonna drop down the weight. You're gonna hit five tricep overhead. This is instead of the pullover halfway. Thank you. 
Drop a weight, raise straight up. Then drop, weight up. Drop, leg drop, back to the hammer angle swing. Your angle, your leg drop, 
that you play a starting over on one, they all go super, super slow. The hammer angle swing is a little hard to make slow. Kind of exaggerate when you get to your once.
I kind of didn't follow the board really exactly. Like, but I really wanted to get to the one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. If you do it at home with no weights, it's a totally different pace. So what was the, when, you, when we first started, how long was the block with the 5, 4, 3, 2? What did you have it set up? Four minutes, 30 seconds. And then you need block. We're probably like, probably six. Well, because remember we take the legs out? But whatever pace I do it at home, I usually cut time off and I'm slower. Yeah. 